anything. I don't care if the courthouse or the judge or anyone tries to tell you, oh, it won't be nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a fine. It's okay. You can just plead guilty. Do not do it. I don't care what the situation is. Don't do it. Don't never plead guilty. Ever. I don't care what happened. I don't care the situation. Because years later, it's going to come bite you in the butt. When you can't buy an apartment and you can't, um, what's the other thing? Buy an apartment or get a job or any of those two things. Those two other things are very, very important. Am I right? So, if you're looking to do those two things and some kind of weird situation happens and you have to go to court, do not plead guilty ever. I am telling you this by personal experience. Do not ever do it. You know why? 20 years later, it's going to come bite you in the butt and you ain't going to be able to buy a house and you're not going to be able to get a job and you're going to be sitting there wondering why and it's going to be like, oh, because those fines I decided to just plead guilty to and pay off. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously, people, I wish I would have had somebody tell me this when I was, you know, growing up. I can't get a house. I can't get a job now. I'm lucky I have a job because now it's hard as hell for me to get a job. Why? Because I decided to plead guilty to fines and just pay them off and be done with them. Don't ever do it. Never plead guilty. Ever. You fight that until you can't fight it no more. Always a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. Fight it till your last breath. I am telling you this right now. Do not ever plead guilty. Ever. I don't care what anyone tells you. Never, never plead guilty. I mean, I don't know what kind of situation where you would probably want a plea deal. I mean, I don't, I've never gotten into that far of a issue but i'm saying for like fines and stupid little things like mm, for instance for example driving without insurance don't ever plead guilty to that do not ever plead guilty to that and if you ever have a situation like that where you just need to provide proof and documentation please make sure you go do that because otherwise it's going to be on your criminal record and then boom one little paper could have avoided that ever being on your record. I am simply putting this video out there for anybody who needs it because everybody who needs it because I don't want this to happen to anybody else. I have to go make sure that my record gets expunged or clean or cleansed or whatever. I have that to deal with now before I can ever think about getting a job or an apartment. It was such a surprise. I'm like, why can't I get an apartment? Like, why is this so hard for me to do? I should be able to get an apartment. I work. I, you know, everything. I found out why after applying for a job. So, don't let your credit, your background check. Do not let your background check surprise you because it will. Please make sure you do regular background checks on yourself just to know what's on there. Just so you don't have any surprises. I'm putting this information out there because I was surprised. I was very surprised. Alright, well, that is everybody's tip for the day. Much love, y'all. God bless. Remember, be good. Don't get into any trouble. Don't be around people that get you into trouble. Don't be in any kind of situation that might end up bad for you. This is not cool later on. It's not cool then, it's not cool later on. Anyways, much love, y'all. God bless. Peace out, everybody!